Good drawing is often the foundation of good painting. And as you work through the painting process, oftentimes the drawing itself gets covered up along the way. So in this sense, a drawing is really more of a roadmap or foundation for the final work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp, which is a 3D modeling software, as an alternative drawing tool. SketchUp is this amazing and free piece of software that Google offers. Now, it's generally used to create things like houses and buildings for Google Earth, but it works wonders for concept art painting. In the upcoming months, I'm going to be diving deep into SketchUp, but for this week, I'm going to be making two videos that just sort of show you the potential. So don't worry so much about the buttons that I'm pressing, but just watch for what you can do with SketchUp, and I think you'll be pretty excited. So what you're looking at here looks kind of like a drawing, but it's actually a 3D model that I built inside of SketchUp. So where it differs from a drawing is when I do this. Being able to move the camera around a 3D object is so powerful. Now I can see this from any angle that I want to. Each of those angles would have taken a long time to draw individually, and now you get the consistency of a physical object. So the first feature I'm going to show is the one that pertains most strongly to illustrators. So let's take a look. Pretending that I'm sort of looking through a camera, I'm going to use this to compose my shot. And when I get the angle I want, I can export a 2D image straight into Photoshop. And here's the result. So here I've got that black and white image inside of Photoshop, and it's going to function very much like line art would from a normal scanned in sketch. So I've set it to my top layer, and I've set that layer to multiply, and now I can paint underneath it. And now, from this point forward, I would just treat it like a normal drawing. And I would render and do whatever it was I wanted to. But all that technical, hard perspective drawing was in some ways alleviated by what SketchUp does naturally. The next most powerful feature is the ability to modify your design. Maybe you weren't really happy with the way that uh, one of the shapes was working, but instead of modifying a drawing, you could go in here and quickly and easily alter one of the shapes, and you can see I'm actually working symmetrically here. And you can dramatically affect the outcome. In fact, I could scale and change the entire shape of the vessel with one click. These are the sorts of things that you could never do with a perspective drawing because it would just take too long to change everything. So you can see a 3D model gives you nice flexibility when it comes to iterating on your designs. Another powerful tool that SketchUp offers is the ability to see real-time cast shadows. Now in the real world, part of the way that our brain interprets shapes and determines form is how cast shadows work. So when you're designing something, being able to see the shadows that it casts is actually a really helpful tool. Well, in SketchUp, I can turn on shadows, and then I can move the form around and get a really solid understanding of how those shapes lay in space. But it gets even cooler when I can actually change the time of day and watch those shadows roll across the form. Now you might be thinking, well that looks really, really cool, but I don't know anything about 3D modeling. And now personally, I've actually used a variety of 3D softwares. And the nice thing that I can tell you about SketchUp is that it's really designed for a non-technical person. It can do very technical things, but the way that it operates is incredibly simple. So I'll show you a couple quick modeling moves here, and you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. The whole thing has this push and pull quality about it, where you'll draw the outline of a shape and then simply extrude. And if you want to cut something out of a shape, you would draw a contour on one of the faces and then use that contour to lop off part of the object. 
So in a lot of ways, it's kind of like drawing or playing with clay in that it's very fluid and very easy to quickly generate shapes without a really solid understanding of how generally 3D modeling programs work. Because a lot of 3D modeling programs are very technical and very confusing, but I find that SketchUp has a much more intuitive approach. So in Thursday's video, I'm going to introduce you to some really basic modeling in SketchUp and how you can use it to generate thumbnails for a drawing. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.